At 21, he stunned even Einstein with a mind sharper than any of his time. In 1925, he broke the code of the atom, daring to declare that no two electrons could ever be the same. He was feared as the most ruthless critic in physics and revered as its conscience. When the world's experiments failed, he imagined the unimaginable, predicting a ghostly particle, the neutrino. This is the incredible story of Wolfgang Pauli, the quantum genius. April 25th, 1900. In the heart of Vienna, Austria, a boy named Wolfgang Pauli was born. The streets buzzed with horse-drawn carriages and the air carried the melodies of classical music from nearby concert halls. Vienna was a city of art, science, and ideas, and young Wolfgang entered it like a spark waiting to ignite. Even as an infant, there was something different in his gaze, an intensity that hinted at the genius to come. Wolfgang's father, Wolfgang Joseph Pauli, was a chemist, meticulous and disciplined. His mother, Bertha Camilla Pauli, was a journalist and social activist, filled with intellect and curiosity. Together they created a home where questions were encouraged, experiments were celebrated, and books lined every wall. From his earliest years, Wolfgang was immersed in a world that valued both precision and imagination. Even as a small boy, Wolfgang showed a fascination for numbers and patterns. He built tiny experiments, mixing household items like a young chemist. Mathematics puzzles captivated him, and simple observations of nature became elaborate scientific questions. Neighbors and relatives began to notice this child's mind worked differently. Vienna at the turn of the century was alive with culture. The city was home to composers, artists, philosophers, and scientists. Coffee houses buzzed with debates, and lecture halls overflowed with ideas that challenged old ways of thinking. Wolfgang drank it all in, absorbing a rich environment that shaped the way he would later think about the universe. School was where Wolfgang's talents first became visible to teachers. He excelled in mathematics and physics, often solving problems faster than anyone else. Yet he was more than a prodigy. He asked questions no one else thought to ask. His curiosity sometimes unsettled his classmates, but it revealed a mind hungry for understanding. As a teenager, Wolfgang's curiosity expanded beyond school. He studied atoms, electrons, and light, wondering how the tiniest pieces of the universe fit together. Books became portals to mysteries he could not yet solve. Every experiment, every question, brought him closer to the breakthroughs that would later make him famous. In 1918, Wolfgang entered the University of Munich. He studied under the brilliant Arnold Sommerfeld, one of the leading physicists of the era. The halls were filled with complex mathematics, new theories, and debates that would shape modern physics. For Wolfgang, it was the perfect environment to challenge, learn, and begin leaving his mark on science. By 1921, Wolfgang completed his PhD thesis on the quantum theory of ionized atoms. It was a work of brilliance, precise and original, earning him immediate recognition among physicists. This was the birth of a genius, and the journey had only just begun. After earning his doctorate, Wolfgang Pauli set out across Europe to work in the leading centers of physics. He arrived in Göttingen, then Copenhagen, and finally Zurich, moving from one bustling laboratory to another. In each city, lecture halls overflowed with students and laboratories hummed with experiments. These postdoctoral years exposed him to the brightest minds and the toughest challenges in theoretical physics. 
Pauli quickly became part of a brilliant circle, exchanging ideas with Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, and Max Born. Letters flew across cities as theories were debated and refined. Meetings were intense, filled with questions that challenged everyone present. Pauli's sharp mind earned both respect and a hint of fear among his peers. Despite his talent, the mysteries of electron behavior and atomic spectra frustrated Pauli. Electrons did not behave as anyone expected, and the data often contradicted existing theories. Nights were long and filled with calculations, and even a genius faced moments of doubt. Every failed attempt pushed him to think harder and deeper than ever before. Pauli was known for being brutally honest and sharply critical. Colleagues both admired and feared his scrutiny. His critiques could sting, but they pushed others to clarify their ideas and think rigorously. This exacting nature made him a feared mentor and an invaluable collaborator. Pauli spent countless nights poring over calculations, surrounded by piles of papers and open books. Then it happened. In 1925, Pauli formulated the Pauli Exclusion Principle, a simple rule with enormous consequences. No two electrons could occupy the same quantum state at the same time. The principle solved long-standing mysteries in atomic spectra and explained the arrangement of electrons in atoms. It was a moment of clarity that would change physics forever. When Pauli shared his discovery, reactions were mixed. Some physicists celebrated it as genius, while others were skeptical, unsure how such a simple rule could have such far-reaching effects. Discussions and debates erupted in lecture halls and journals. Pauli's idea was revolutionary, but acceptance would take time. Finally, Pauli published the exclusion principle, and the physics world was shaken. Suddenly, the chaos of atomic spectra made sense, and new doors opened for quantum theory. This was not just a discovery, it was a revolution. Wolfgang Pauli had arrived, and there was no turning back. After establishing the exclusion principle, Pauli turned his mind to deeper mysteries of the atom. He explored the concept of electron spin, a tiny property that explained atomic behavior in a new way. Then, in 1930, he made a bold prediction, the neutrino, a particle so elusive it could hardly be detected. His theories were ahead of their time, daring and precise. Pauli dived into quantum field theory, one of the most complex areas of physics. Equations appeared across blackboards and papers, twisting and turning like puzzles. He sought the rules governing particles and forces at the smallest scales. Every calculation was a step toward understanding the invisible architecture of the universe. Pauli was never just a mathematician. He engaged in philosophical debates with Niels Bohr and other physicists. They argued about the meaning of quantum mechanics, the role of observation, and the nature of reality. Discussions were heated, ideas clashing like sparks. These debates shaped the Copenhagen interpretation and tested the limits of human understanding. Outside physics, Pauli developed a close friendship with Carl Jung, the famous psychologist. He explored psychology and philosophy, questioning the human mind, dreams, and consciousness. Their correspondence spanned decades, blending science and human insight. Pauli was searching not only for atomic truths, but also for understanding the mind itself. Pauli's critical nature earned him the nickname, the conscience of physics. He did not shy away from challenging even the greatest minds. Mistakes were met with frank analysis, sometimes biting, but always insightful. His insistence on rigor reshaped the work of colleagues and strengthened the field of physics as a whole. Pauli guided many young physicists with precision and care. Students learned not only the mathematics of physics, but the art of thinking clearly and critically. He encouraged questions, nurtured curiosity, and demanded excellence. His mentorship created a new generation of scientists who carried his ideas forward. 
By the end of this period, Pauli's work had reshaped the understanding of quantum mechanics worldwide. From electrons to neutrinos, from laboratories in Europe to universities across the world, his ideas guided the future of physics. The lone critic had become a visionary. Wolfgang Pauli's mind now commanded the invisible universe. In 1945, Wolfgang Pauli received the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of the exclusion principle. The award recognized a lifetime of brilliance, precision, and insight. Colleagues and the scientific community celebrated the achievement, acknowledging the profound impact of his work. For Pauli, it was a moment of triumph, a public affirmation of his revolutionary ideas. In 1934, Wolfgang Pauli's reputation had already crossed borders, earning him a place as a corresponding member of the Prussian Academy of Sciences in Berlin. Three years later, the Bavarian Academy of Sciences welcomed him into its ranks, affirming his role as one of Germany's leading minds in theoretical physics. By 1939, his influence had gone global. The Royal Society of London named Pauli a foreign member, an honor reserved for the most distinguished scientists worldwide. And in 1950, Pauli stood at the helm of his homeland's scientific community, serving as president of the Swiss Physical Society, guiding the future of physics in post-war Europe. In the late 1950s, Pauli's health declined due to pancreatic cancer. He spent his final days quietly, surrounded by books and letters. The brilliant mind that had unlocked atomic secrets faced a personal battle with mortality. Somber moments marked his last reflections, blending science with human vulnerability. On December 15, 1958, Wolfgang Pauli passed away in Zurich, Switzerland. The city's skyline stood quiet as the world lost one of its greatest minds. His passing marked the end of an era, but his ideas lived on. The genius who had changed physics was gone, yet his influence would never fade. Pauli's legacy is honored worldwide. Lectures, awards, and institutions bear his name, inspiring generations of physicists. Students study the principles he discovered, while scientists continue to explore the questions he posed. Every homage reflects the lasting power of his mind and the respect of the global scientific community. Wolfgang Pauli's life and discoveries continue to inspire generations. The exclusion principle governs the invisible world, shaping matter, chemistry, and stars. His sharp mind, rigorous thinking, and relentless curiosity created a legacy beyond any single achievement. Wolfgang Pauli remains immortal, a guiding light in the story of human understanding.